If I believe it, the hell too. Uh, professor, I'm a professor. I'm a professor. Hello class, uh, my name is Professor Korn, and today we're gonna learn how to sew a good old-fashioned collar with collar stays. Starting here, we have two pieces of interfacing for the band, another two pieces of fabric for the band itself, two pieces of interfacing again, and these are for the bit that flap over, two pieces of fabric for the flapping down bit, and then finally these two pieces, which are exactly the same as this, but only five inches, and these are so that we can make our collar stays. Now, if you need to draft your own pieces, uh, you're simply gonna take your shirt up until this point, which includes the front pieces with the plackets attached and the back panel. Uh, you're gonna walk it out all the way around like this to get this full measurement. And then uh, Editing Corn's gonna share some specific measurements uh, for that. Okay? Let's get to sewing. I'm gonna start with the collar stays and I measure in four inches along the bottom here, one and a quarter inches, give myself another mark. Now I fold in based on those marks I just gave myself, press that down. Uh, then I take those five inch pieces and I lay them over top I take the top corner and clip it out just a little bit past where the seam allowance is going to be. So that way it doesn't get too bulky later on when I start sewing. Now I'm going to flip it over so that the short sides are facing down. And then I'm going to take one of my collar stays and I'm going to put it in place where I want it to be in the final. I'm going to leave my seam allowance plus about a quarter of an inch, which will make sense later. Then I'm gonna draw in around the outside so I know where to sew. And then we stitch this down. Follow our lines we drew. And now trim away some of this excess fabric just on the inside of these short pieces. Now, the interfacing goes on. Flip this over so that the interfacing is facing down. Take that first piece and make sure the interfacing is up to the outside. Sew up along the sides. And now as we come to the top corner here, remember we wanna leave about that quarter inch of a gap between the collar stay and uh, the seam. And then across and we keep going. Next, I simply cut off the edges, flip the collar flap the right way around, little wiggle to get it nice and pointy, and then pressed it out flat. Now top stitching right along the edge. And remember that little gap that we left? That is so that my top stitching perfectly comes to that point and meets the earlier seam. Any questions, class? Any questions? No? Okay, all right, let's keep going. Moving on to the bands of the collar and pressing down the interfacing. With this side, I have the interfacing down. With this one on top, I have the interfacing facing up. Find the center. Just give myself a tiny little notch here to remember that. Take the top flap and find the middle of this as well. Then take that collar piece and stuff it into the band upside down. Align my notches in the middle. Starting in the middle where I made that notch, I now sew along the top of the band, right on the edge of that interfacing. 
gently pull on it along the bottom here just to straighten that out a little bit and adjusting as I go if I need to. I only want to go up to the end of the interfacing, no further. Once again, trim, flip, and press. Uh, now the scariest bit of all, where I attach the collar onto the shirt. But if I take it one step at a time, <laughs> it's all manageable. So this is the outside of the shirt, and then this is the outside of the collar that will show when it's folded over, and both of them are facing upwards. Just this bottom layer here, I take that and I pin it onto the shirt and do that with the other side as well. Pull this all open like so, and then I pin on just that bottom layer again onto the shirt, and then proceed to just generally space everything out evenly and pinning as I go along. Starting roughly in the middle again and then using my interfacing as the guide, I'm gonna go ahead and sew this one side onto my shirt. And I find it's usually good just to give everything a gentle tug to make sure there's no puckers and flaps and things. Back to the middle and now in the other direction. So this next step is a little tricky. We're gonna take this placket and we're gonna fold it over on a 45 degree angle, leaving about a quarter of an inch of a gap between where we just sewed. We're just gonna hold that in place just like so. Hold here like this. Take the other side and we're gonna flip it inside out, like that. You're gonna have to readjust a little bit here, like so. And the reason for pinning the placket is because we wanna make sure we don't sew over it. The placket has to be inside of the band of the collar. And we're gonna run just a short little seam, no longer than an inch, right along where we previously sewed to sew these two pieces of the band together, just like that. Take out that pin, let's go in here, let's also take out that other pin. Now flip it back again and using our placket just to pull everything back to the right side again, like so, there we go. Do the old wiggle, 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 and then press it out just to clean it all up a little bit. Uh, again, uh, any questions, class? Any questions? Ah, the silence. Um, okay, well, uh, ask me after class um, in, in the comments. Now let's press that original seam that we did back up into the band of the collar. And now with this other piece of band, we simply fold that inwards and then lie that down and make sure it's about, oh, maybe a millimeter over top of that original seam. And then we press that down like so. And then finally, starting in the middle along the bottom first, I run a top stitch along the top as well. And that, my lovely student, is how you sew a collar with collar stands. <laughs>